Thank you very much, Cahir, and you're very welcome to today's uh, meeting. Um, my apologies, I missed the start of the, the the meeting. I was in the Shannon, but I suppose I, I thank you for your contribution, and and um, you know, I look really look forward to seeing this um, coming to life, and you know, the, the 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 work that you have to do in 2022 to get these grants off the ground. And I suppose I'm very very ambitious for this. I think um, there is an incredible amount of money there. There is those six, the six strands that you, you've highlighted, um, you know, across every section of our society, every part that we can, you know, that we as public representatives um, see opportunities in each one of them. I'm, I'm, I'm going through of them. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, locally and very biased on things that fit in projects that I'm working on at the minute. And, and um, I would concur with my colleague Daphne Smith on those those links between our education, our young people, because it's young people is our future. And that is a cliche, of course, but it is exactly the truth. And if we don't foster good relationships, we don't foster education um, and creating that proper future, um, you know, no nobody sees a way out and we're always stuck in, into the past. I suppose my question would be if, Pretty a very specific question, and I apologise if you have already covered it. Um, and I just the small grants. And um, for me, you know, working with smaller local local organisations and that, and I know uh, Peace Plus some programmes have already you know um, funded a lot of stuff locally for me. I'm from County Loud, North County Loud, and it has been really really worthwhile. But I suppose for the small grants, like how much are we talking about? And is that going to be, or is that all up in the in the the you know the in the in the air at the minute? And is that those small grants are they towards you know um, I suppose capital projects, you know renovations or or for or for club rooms for 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 facilities that would engage with it on a north south uh, north south um, basis? Um, and I and I absolutely am very encouraged. By, um, by the research on the smart towns and villages, Paul, because that is, and um, when I was on the East Border Region Committee and um, the board of that, we were always talking about this. This is, you know, this is the future. This is, you know, the future of our border area or um, towards the entire north of, of the northern end of this country. We really need to support and encourage um, and to reignite our small towns and villages and that is going to be done through um, smart technology and smart living and, and and thinking smart and outside the box and how we and how we live in a new post-pandemic um ireland so i was that's my general question or my specific question and my general thought so i really thank you thank you go ahead jim uh, yes, you're, thank you very much. You're absolutely right about the children and young people. It's so important, and and we saw that in the current program where we're funding the peace um, the peace projects. There's a ten of those there, eleven that actually ha were fantastic during COVID. You know, these are young people that are really hard to engage, that hadn't got involved in anything before, and when they came into these programs, they I have to commend the the organisations that ran them. They've done a wonderful job kept the children involved, the young people involved, and they, they pivoted to online things that honestly was, were hilarious to watch, uh, the, the way they were coordinating them, the, you know, trying to keep together. So I totally agree with you there. The small grants, we are at an early stage of development of that. And we're, as I said, we've appointed Pubble to work with us, and we're also contracting the Northern Ireland partner to work with them. And um, we're looking at simplified cost options, which is a European tool that we can use, which makes it a much more streamlined, administratively easy. It's almost like buying a service from the project. When we talk about small, we're talking about up to 100,000. And that will be, uh, and we're probably going to categorise that with maybe, you know, up to 10, up to 20 and different activities and different criteria um, and what can, what can be funded under that. Um, but it's very open at the minute. And we're, as I said, we're working through it. The, um, the, it should be a very streamlined process and um, it should allow for, quite, very flexible in that it should allow for anything that's going to contribute to peace building and you know bringing communities together 
shouldn't be excluded from it. And we have two, which is, we, we call it, we say we've got 21 investment areas across the programme. It's actually 22, but it's the two of them come together because in theme one, it's all about cross-community peace building. And there's one in theme six, which will be joined with it. And it's all about cross-border, forging links, maintaining links, making new links. So it, there'll be opportunities in both cross-community and cross-border.